In this lecture, we are going to learn about calling a function by passing value or reference. We'll first take call by value. In this example, I am defining a function as add to which I'm passing two integers and it will return me an integer. So I'm declaring another variable in C and storing addition of A and B into it. And then I'm returning C. So inside of my main function, I'm initializing a to 10 and b to 20. I'm also declaring one more variable as c and then in c, I'm storing value returned by my function add. So in this example, I'm passing variable a and b as values. So 10 and 20 will be passed to the function add and those values will be added and stored into c and this c will be returned. Let us take this example. I am defining a function having two integer pointer variable as parameters. Then I am writing star a star b adding them and storing it into c. So what star a is doing over here and what star b is doing over here that I will explain you in a bit and then I am returning c. So while calling this function from main I am using two variables as integer initialized to 10 and 20 and then c is a variable where we'll be storing our output so i'm calling my function add and i'm passing references of these variables i'm passing address so whatever the address location would be like 7001 or 7002 that address will be passed over here so what technically is happening over here is star a will be equal to address of a and star b equal to address of b okay so in this statement we need to read it as star replace a with address of a and we know that we need to read star as a value at operator so value at address of a plus value at address of b so we are adding 10 and 20 using pointer variables which are pointing to address location of these variables it is important to note that this a is integer and this int star a is integer pointer but then what is advantage of using call by reference in the first program we have declared in total six different variables int a b and int c in our user defined function and then another set of a b c in main however in case of calling by reference we have created three variables for which memory location will be required and inside of our user defined function we have just created pointers those are not variables actually now because we already have a pointer variable let us consider this second example so that you'll understand advantage of using pointers more clearly here i'm defining a function to which three integer pointers are passed then i'm simply writing star c equal to star a plus star b so what is happening over here let me explain you this in a bit so inside of main i am declaring three variables a b c and a i am initializing to 10 and b to 20 and then i'm directly calling my function add and i'm passing address location of a b and c so when the function is called these three integer pointers will start pointing to this location the addition will be stored at the address location of this c variable okay so after executing this statement if you print values of a b and c it will print 10 20 and 30 notice that in example 2 we were not required to return value of c however we are simply storing value in the original variable c by using reference of it using the pointers in the next lecture we will check what is scope of a variable and in which block of code variables are accessible.